say. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No! First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. This mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? That feels the same to me. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. Yeah, when are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Hey guys, get up here okay? Yeah, well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, 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 we get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. This freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be like a window around the corner we can get, like get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. So, how are you doing? good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off on Relax. Already? Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got four lovely ladies who are gonna be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot, nobody likes cool buns. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one.
I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm going to go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. Chris, very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it.
freezing our buns off out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I'd use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Yeah, come on in. Take a load off, have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa, easy there, cowboy. Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? Quit <laughs> being such a Dick, man. Nobody wants you here. Seriously, what's your problem, you meathead? Bitch! Hey, hey, get off me! Hey! What the hell is wrong with you two? I mean, we didn't come back here just to tear each other's heads off. I mean, we came back here to have a good time, right? Hey, Mike, why don't you and Jess go check out the guest cabin I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, cool. You wanna head up there? Sure. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Whoa. Well, do I... you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. <sighs> Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, bar. How far is this? cabin anyway. This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see it. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Got to fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. OK. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. It is 
freezing out here. Well, that's something I can help you with. And how are you going to do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Not a lot of TLC for this place anymore. Kind of a bummer. What the heck was all that muscle flexing back there with you and Matt? What a dick, right? Dude has no business coming at me like that. He's got any brain and that huge dumb melon. He better find it and use it or he's gonna get wrecked. Wow, nasty Mikey. Just riled up. Me likey. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Mike! Generator! Oh, right. Got it. I wish you could generate a little excitement about getting that freaking generator to work. Okay, I'll, I'll just yell at it like you're yelling at me. Let's see if that works. Okay. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Woo! You are a wizard. Damn. The gates shall open. Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. That was just awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hits. <laughs> you psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am. So psyched right now. It's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. Wow. Police? From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Well, whoever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with the path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with- ah! Ah! Jess! Fuck! Hey, Jessica! Yep! Hey! I'm um, okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. All 
Alright, coming after you. Just stay put. Hey, handsome. Wanna help me move this cart thing? Just grunting together. This is not what I pictured. Not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. When Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Eh, I'm take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for this dumb speech, but... Ooh, a telescope! Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin... Um, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay. Let me see. Hey, Jess. Mm-hmm. Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael. I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug <laughs> a bear.
rat. Wings? Oh, poor Mikey. Did the little birdie get your panties all bunched up? These are gross. Like diseases and shit. Josh, could you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike, you've got something on your face. Ah! Boo! Okay, okay. That's how it's gonna be. Yes? with that. Hardy are. Come on. All right, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time. Me and... Well... Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> You know, Sam. Yes, Josh? I just wanted to say... <sighs> what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. 
Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this. Together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Sorry to drag you down into the bowels. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? Anyway. I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? Here, can you can you hold this? What's that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Hey, can you just keep the light so I can see, okay? Nice one. Okay, first things first, we gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mmm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. or some problem with the furnace. Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. Yeah, right. Sit 
Vermont. What? <laughs> nice, nice one. That was good. Wait, but why would you do that? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you? Are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master! Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared, admit it. I was not! Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. Hello, Earth Matt. You're gonna come with me to get my bag? Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. What's your deal? What? I've never seen you get so aggressive. Mike was being a prick. Newsflash, General Giant shows a not so good. <laughs> <laughs> Madam. Why, thank you, sir. Hey, ma'am. Yeah? So what'd you ever see in Mike anyways? Oh, Matt. Seriously, he's a dick. He's always been a dick. Why are we talking about this? He's still in it's obvious. You're a big, strong, handsome man, and you're the one that I want, so stop worrying about Mike, okay? Okay. to get me somewhere private? Why don't you uh, come find out? Matt. Yeah? Thanks for helping me find my bag. I know I can be a little high maintenance. It's no problem, babe. But you gotta remember, there's more to this guy than just being a lean, mean, luggage-lifting machine. You gonna back that up? All day. <laughs> what? All day. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Like, all day long. I was being, like, sexy. Here tonight. Wow. Yeah. It's 
so nice to be here with you, muscle man. Ah, uh, I'm not all muscle. <laughs> there are some brains in here too. Well, you got enough brains to like me, so let's see that brawn. You ever done it outside before? Outside of what? My car. I like your car. Roomy. This ain't roomy enough for you? Uh, you know what? Maybe there's a better spot. Does this spot start with a G? There are lots of places out here. I already started clearing this all for us. Like a gentleman. Oh, come on, let's look around. What's so important in the bag, anyways? It's just my undies. The lacy ones. Well, hell, we don't need those. You don't want me to model them for you? I'm just gonna rip them off anyways. Maybe I wanna show them off. It puts me in a generous mood. Let's go get them. Madam. Thank you. Oh my, very impressive. What was that? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably just an animal. Do not like. I would like to understand your feelings toward people of fear, isolation, loneliness. Do you share this fear? Is that so? Because that's not reflected in the way you are playing your game. Now is it? investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person, loyalty or honesty? So you would tell a lie in order to be loyal to a friend, okay. And what about loyalty versus charity?
Such a giving and caring person. Very nice. Well, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon.